We begin tonight with breaking news about the man once known as America's mayor. Rudy Giuliani tonight ordered to pay a staggering amount of money, nearly $150 million, to two former Georgia election workers. A federal judge ruled Donald Trump's then personal lawyer defamed Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss by spreading lies, by spreading lies, by spreading lies that they engaged in election fraud. The two women say their lives were turned upside down. They were stalked and threatened with lynchings. These two poll workers were fulfilling a public service and ensuring America's right to vote. Now they feel they can't return home and had to change their appearances to stay safe. CBS's Scott McFarlane has been covering this case from the beginning. He joins us now from outside the courthouse here in D.C. Good evening, Scott. Good evening. Rudy Giuliani didn't bat an eye as the jury announced its decision, but it's the size of the damages that caused a bit of a stir here at the courthouse. An epic fall for the man who was once Time's Person of the Year. An epic fall for the man who was once Time's Person of the Year. An epic fall for the man who was once Time's Person of the Year. Today's a good day. A jury stood witness to what Rudy Giuliana did to me and my daughter. Ruby Freeman and her daughter Shea Moss emerged triumphantly from court today after a jury awarded them damages from Rudy Giuliani for the conspiracy theories he spread about them since the 2020 election. The flame that Giuliani lit with those lies and passed to so many others to keep that flame blazing changed every aspect of our lives. Giuliani was found liable for defaming the women and for inflicting emotional distress for lies, claiming they flip votes while serving as Georgia election workers in 2020, including a conspiracy theory the women exchanged USB drives to do so when they were actually exchanging a mint. The lies led to vile threats. Hey, I hope you like jail because that's where you're going on your way to hell. The total awarded to the two women includes more than $33 million in compensatory damages, $40 million for intentional infliction of emotional distress, and then a number that drew some gasps in the courthouse, $75 million in punitive damages. Giuliani, who had said he planned to testify at this trial, opted not to at the last minute. The absurdity of the number merely underscores the absurdity of the entire proceeding. Outside the court, he continued to spread baseless claims about 2020. My country had a president imposed on it by fraud. Those are conspiracy theories, caused, sir. These are not conspiracy theories. Giuliani told us he is going to appeal, and appeals in the federal system can be lengthy, Nora, which means it's unclear when or if either woman will get any money. Scott McFarland, thank you. Believe me, my day is coming, too. The only way it can be prevented is by you, by y'all saying y'all will not hurt him. Any black man you see them snatch off the street didn't do nothing wrong. You understand? Society decides what's wrong here. I'll give you a perfect example. There's people in there that probably come from foreign countries that wish they had a green card. There's people in here who come from America that wish they came from foreign countries. You wish you could leave this country. They say you're free. If you try to leave the country and go from here into Canada and when a man catches you at the border, say, yeah, I'm not showing you no identification. I'm free. It's a free country. That's the only place I feel like going. No, you can't. You can't go into Canada unless we stamp our approval on you. Then don't tell me I'm free. Free? What does the word free mean? The word means free. Free means free. Doesn't it? So you say I'm free. I say I want to go to Africa. You say I need a visa. Who going to give me the visa? You? How come I got to get a visa from you? But the white man tells you y'all are free and y'all believe it. But you can't go to Africa without a visa. You can't even go home without a visa. You're not free. If you try to figure out a way to do it, they call it fraud, make it a federal offense and try to put you in prison. You understand what I'm saying? That's how they work. They're trying to do it to me. They're saying I defrauded them and they're trying to put me in prison. That's how they work. And they'll succeed if somebody don't do nothing about it. That's how they work. And they'll eliminate you one by one. 